Last week, I had the opportunity to travel to Cuba on a humanitarian trip. This cultural exchange was a way to bring American musicians and Cuban students together to help and learn from one another. My husband is a jazz buff, and this trip was organized by Cayo, a nonprofit founded by his high school bandmate. Together with professional musicians, artists, retired educators, and patrons, I got to see the real Cuba. To say this was impactful would be an understatement. Here's what you don't see in Cuba. Supermarkets, pharmacies, fresh tap water, hardware stores, fresh coats of paint, updated infrastructure, and the list goes on. People line up for hours for basic necessities. Did you know that doctors in Cuba live on about $40 per month? Cubans are still using ration cards for basic necessities. Last month, they received only minimal amounts of rice, oil, and sugar. It's impossible to understand how Cuba is only 90 miles from the U.S. border. It's a world apart. Here's what you do see in Cuba. Warm, friendly, creative Cuban people who are optimistic despite their circumstances. The Creativity in Cuba is astounding, and people learn to make something from nothing. The Cuban people are highly educated, and they value music and art and culture, even without all of the riches we have here. Along the way, we also saw some beautiful sunsets, colorful classic cars, and a huge sense of hope. During our five days, we sorted through hundreds of pounds of humanitarian supplies to bring to four different schools. I taught elementary students art, visited the homes of three different artists, and saw a glimpse into real life in Cuba. I also made some new friendships that I'll cherish forever. But in the end, I witnessed how music is the universal language, and that art and food and friendship bring people together. The motto of Kayo is that the world is a better place when you know your neighbors. I cannot agree more.